What's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the directory chooser in JavaFX. Directory chooser is used to browse or select a directory from a file system. Unlike the file chooser, which is used to open or save a file. So uh, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to, in this program, I'm going to create the border pane layout. So I'm going to use the border pane layout for our layout. So I'm going to name this to border pane layout. And what I need is to use a button to select a file for a directory. So I'm going to create a button here. Button calls naming button. And a label which is to used to display the directory from the selected di directory. And a uh, label Alright, and let's import that. So I'm going to name this button to select. Alright, and let's assign our nodes to the layout. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the layout that set top. And I'm going to pass in the button object here. And layout that set center for the label. Okay, now our layout is, our nodes is uh, aligned at the left side. So I'm going to uh, align this to center. So I'm going to call the border pane border pane that set alignment and I'm going to call the button here position center as well as the label border pane that border pane that set alignment to label comma and center all right, now I'm going to create an action event for our button to open the directory. So I'm going to set an action event and I'm going to use the Lambda expression. So here I'm going to create the directory chooser. Directory and chooser, false new directory chooser. So let's name our dialog title to select directory. We can also uh, set an initial directory like this one. Chooser that set initial directory to, uh, and let's create a new file. New file. For example, C, the path name, and let's create a new file here, file uh, directory equals chooser that show dialog, and let's call the stage for our window, stage as the parent, parent window, and if if the directory is not null, not equal to null, we can set the directory in our to our label. So I'm gonna call the label object and set text directory that to string. All right, and let's try to run our application see what that look like okay and this is our application director chooser okay and the button is hello why is that okay because we need to comment this the fxml loader and we need to pass in the layout object here layout 
and this one is direct rig. All right, and let's run it again. There we go. So I'm gonna click on select, and our direct rig chooser is shown. All right, let's select the desktop and select folder. That's it. Our path is uh, printed here. So let's select another one, like pictures, save pictures. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you are using the, uh, if you are choosing, if you are using the scene builder, you can uh, use this this one, this code, and call the FSML loader that load and open this in scene builder. And make your layout here. For example, this one. This one is your select button and enter assigned FX ID or not necessary not, not not necessary to use the FX ID you need to use the an action event and click that you need you also need to assign the controller class here and let's save and it's just Let's open it again because I forgot to don't remember the on action event. Okay, this one. You can uh, you need to go here at the hello controller and yeah. The action event is already here. So we can use the the code here this one copy and paste here so i'm gonna call the button where is the button okay let's say label welcome text that no i'm gonna call stage i'm gonna create a stage equals cast the states and welcome text that get seen and get window it can use the set an action uh, as out the print our directory the console the directory all right and let's run our application there you go select and let's say pictures yeah it is printed here so <clears throat> That's it. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.